Greetings everybody. This is another POV video. So we're gonna cross that bridge and just try to see what's going on at this time and uh, if nothing's happening uh, we'll call it a day. Wanted to shoot this video for you guys. Uh, I think we can capture something here. Just let me set it up. I don't know if you guys heard that. Uh, someone's yelling. So, why did I not set this up first? Let's get it up there. Not too bad. We're just gonna go around and see what's up. Uh, we can actually take a picture of this guy. This looks pretty cool. And, uh, I wanna capture everything, so. Yeah. Here's the Bethlehem Square. Well, why do I keep calling it the square? This is, it just looks like a square, the library, but I don't know why I keep calling it that. Maybe that's the wrong word I'm giving it. A lot of hawks for some reason. Not a huge fan of this guy here. I can never really get a good, meaningful photo. But other than that, How you doing? There's usually some pretty good statues down over here. I'm gonna take a quick photo of those. But yeah, just another photo walk. But yes, this guy. Focus on the head. Get the side profile. I don't really go around here that much. Uh, but when I do, it's usually just to take some photos, things that interest me. Uh, this is still in the area of the police department, so I don't want to get too crazy. But yes, here it is. This guy right here that looks like a portal. It's just so amusing. I don't know if it was inspired by some feudal Japan type era. I don't know why but this is the only spot that has this type of passageway and it just looks remarkably clean so i'm gonna take this guy maybe back up do one kneeling awesome but yeah just feels like a portal I completely forgot to tell you guys what I'm shooting with. It's practically the 24 mil f1.4. I've had this lens for at least uh, five months now, and this is the part where you're gonna 
hear me yell a lot. Uh, because there's just too many cars passing by. So we're going to take a quick shot right here. Clear pretty close to the evening now. So the sun's about to set. So I'm hoping I can grab some pretty nice shots here. As you can see the other side, can't really get a good photo from there, but I think if I crop it out, I can, so I can attempt that. Pretty good right over here. Maybe we'll head up to that steel stacks uh, location. See if there's anything uh, intriguing. I don't think it's busy at this time. However, I'm not so sure if we'll make it by sunset. <laughs> Dog, mind if I take a photo of him real quick? Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Have a good one. Ah, yeah, <laughs> oh, man. You know I had to. That looked clean. But yeah, more about this camera lens. It's uh, probably one of my favorite. Uh, it doesn't have the range, obviously. It's more wider. Uh, it's not tight enough to get you something. You got to get really up close with it. But it's the level of detail that comes with this lens that pleases me. And it's the fact that you can almost crop to like any, any angle and still get a high detail shot. That's probably the best thing about suit shooting with the A7R4. So if I'm shooting full frame and not uh, APC crop mode, I can usually crop it to almost uh, good enough zoom just to pick, uh, just to crop, take out that one subject that I need. And uh, it works for almost anything. I mean, a lot of people tend to vouch for the 35 millimeter lenses, but in my opinion, the 24 is just as great. It is obviously wider and the 35 might have some movie qualities but sometimes it's just uh, what you prefer and so far I don't think I've made a mistake with this 1.4 it's just the right perfect lens for me I've used it for a lot of things too for birthday shootouts for car photographies it works so yeah here this is St. Luke's building Make it a little bit gloomier. I don't know why. I'm always shooting a uh, portrait for some reason, but it just it looks cleaner. It comes out nicer. Wow, this looks pretty cool. I don't I think I think I've taken a picture of this on my 135, but never on my 24 mil. I usually don't make a lot of stops here, so we'll find a good angle. Take a picture.
yes. Yes, it does. This one looks actually pretty neat. Not sure who did this one. Get a little bit closer to it. I don't know who, I don't know why I said it. It said it like I knew who drew that mural or whatever. Like I have no idea who drew any of these things. They just look fascinating and Right now I see no cars and nothing of interest, yeah. Friday nights is where you usually see like some of the best vehicles out here, but fortunately I'm not seeing anything. It's not using his blinkers. We'll get this guy over here. Sweet. Just a straight shot, not really much. Ugh. I gotta be quick with the, with the snap and snap. Get down to the steel stacks uh, before dark. See if we can capture anything. Ooh, I spoke too soon. That actually looks pretty nice. Oh, not too bad over here too. is going on here so oh this is nice <laughs> i'm telling you guys i'm not an architectural photographer but literally that's the only thing calling out to me right now some of the old developments here. I don't know the history of the steel stack. I mean, obviously this was a steel mill or a factory down here, but I guess, I don't know, business went somewhere else or they just closed down. But yeah, they, they pretty much have a lock on every single part of this area. And you see all these abandoned buildings, you cannot do any form of photo shoots here. It's really tight walk. So yeah, it's creepy too. So I gotta get out of here. <laughs> but there seems to be activity, so I'll keep walking. But my hands are freezing. <sighs> yes, let's get a nice photo of the steel stacks. 
Hopefully some of you guys watching will be potential visitors here. They usually do a lot of uh, concerts before COVID. I don't know if there's ever any, been any big names down here. Uh, I don't do concerts. But yeah, definitely check it out. But other than that, out of my interest. But we're just gonna see if we can get some pictures over here. Some people actually do their car photography over here. Uh, like my friend, he has a stinger. I don't know if you guys have seen my Instagram page. But I took a few photos of a stinger and yeah, he, he took a few photos, I think a couple days ago with his friend because his friend has a blue stinger and they wanted me to come, but I was at work, so it's not really work. Ooh, ooh. Sunset picture. Right here. I think I need to hit up the big cities. And as much as I like this 24 millimeter lens, I'm still a shy photographer, so I don't really get up close to things and people. So I might just come back with my 135. You know, it's tighter. Obviously, it's used for headshots, things like that. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I don't think I got it at all. I was too late. But yes. I would love. Just something that can I can shoot from afar. My hands are freezing at this point, so. I think I'm just gonna call it a night. Well, we're just gonna cross. If you would like to see, like, you know, more of my work, please follow me on Instagram at A1Shots. It's the same thing as my YouTube. Uh, you know. I post uh, photos a little bit more frequently than I used to now. I'm trying to make sure I uh, keep that page as active. I'm letting work get the best of me. But I want to turn a new leaf, make sure that I'm doing everything that I enjoy, as well as, you know, committing to my job. It's just, you get out so late. I literally got out like at four, and it's already, looks like it's uh, eight o'clock because of, uh, daylight savings but I'll definitely try to upload a little bit more in the future.
Thanks again for the photo, man. Have a good one. Cute dog, cute dog. I love it. But you know, COVID, I don't want to give you that. <laughs> yep. Same tip, man. <laughs>